Stephanie. Yeah. Stephanie Mangano, this is Robbie. Robbie's is Stephanie Mangano. Stephanie Mangano, this is Double K. Double K, this is Stephanie Mangano. How are you doing, Stephanie? Robbie. Robbie R. Rubin. What's the R stand for? Robbie. No, 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 the other R. No, that's the same like the other part. <laughs> Your name's Robbie Robbie. Rubin. How in the world did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I think it began many years ago when I was quite young. You see, I was very stubborn. And my mother, she yelled the window, Robbie, Robbie. <laughs> I didn't ask the first time. She stuck me. Robbie, Robbie, Rubin. I got a pair of Robbies in front of my Rubin. <laughs> what, is that like a birthday pet? <laughs> That's a very interesting name you got there. How you doing, Stephanie? Hi. You, uh, you a dancer? Yeah. <clears throat> Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, who do you want to eat? I'm laughing. I mean, what do you want to eat? Can you dig it? I knew that you could. I may be traveling soon, you know, promotional tours with certain authors and performers. I mean, I'll even have to leave Manhattan for a short while. You know, miss certain concerts I'm ballet and all that. Well, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hey, Stephanie, why don't you tell these guys about some of the people when you work in that office? Oh, yeah, well, uh, Joe Namath came into the office this week and I brought him some coffee and he wanted to have coffee with me. You had coffee with Joe Namath? Yeah, um, he wanted to know what being 20 what was like and I said, I don't know, I'm 20! What else, what else? Oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what he does, Steph? It's really not necessary. We work in a paint store, right? And today this guy comes in and starts asking me about paintbrushes. So I ask him, how much paint are you doing? He says, when I'm done, I wouldn't mind painting my wife's ass purple. <laughs> so I ask him, what color is it now? He says, you want to know what color my wife's ass is. I says, hey, you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and the other day, right, I asked our boss for an advance. He says, payday's Monday. I says, I know payday's Monday, but everywhere else you go, it's Friday, it's Saturday. He says, yeah, then you come in on Monday and you're broke, because all weekend you've been booze and you've been whoring. Right, <laughs> so you guys work in a paint store, and you probably live with your parents, and then on yeah. Saturdays you go and you blow it all the 2000 am I right? I love this broad. <laughs> Ooh, guys, wait a minute. Maybe we, us three, could get jobs in Stephanie's office. My yeah. office? Yes. <laughs> I've even got a letter, of, a letter of recommendation right here. Would you like to see it? Yeah, sure. I, I do. What a banana. <laughs> uh, here it is. Uh, would you like to read it? Sure. I think I'll do it for you. <laughs> to open it, sir, this is to introduce Robbie R. Rubin, a very bright, intelligent, smart, and cute young man who is quite witty and kind and honest and works like a son of a gun if he gets paid. He is willing, able, and a swell kid. He does all the things to expect of him. Besides, he's very smart and works like a son of a gun. I'll do all I can do to help. He has nothing but the highest respect, and he's cuter than anybody, and he's smart as a whip. Besides being quite right, he was a swell chap, and works, works like a son, son of a gun. gun. Why'd you write this? Uh, last night, I didn't have a letter of recommendation, so I figured I'd just write one for myself. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what else do you do, Stephanie? Oh, no, no. Tone, you never chew. I mean, you don't chew. It's really disgusting. Do you have any idea what's going down your throat right now? <laughs> Big chunks, gobs of hamburger, like, like, like dog food, like dog friskies and dog yummies. You're gonna turn yourself into a big dog. Hands off. Hey. I gotta ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Steph, let's say you was, uh, you know, knocked up. <laughs> you either had to get married or get an abortion. What would you do? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> would I have to marry? Me? I get the abortion. <laughs> see, why don't Pauline see it that way? <laughs> Oh, my God.